He led the Minneapolis Police Department for nearly a decade and was an influential force in shaping the city into what it is today. Tony Boza has died at the age of 94. An immigrant from Spain and a former NYPD officer, he came to the Twin Cities in 1980 and made his home here. Courtney Godfrey talked to several people who knew and worked with Boza over the years, and she joins us now with more on his life. Courtney? Well, Randy, Tony Boza was often a polarizing figure, sustaining criticism from both the police union and local civil rights activists. Even after his retirement in 1989, he continued to work in, as an expert witness in police brutality cases. I believe very strongly in a consistent, legal, and aggressive assault on street crime. I am uncompromising on that issue. Brooklyn raised Tony Boza came to Minneapolis in 1980, after several decades with the NYPD. An outsider brought in by then Mayor Don Fraser to reform the department. Minneapolis would turn out to be a place where he uh, really uh, earned quite a reputation in a number of ways. Executive Director of the Police Executive Research Forum, Chuck Wexler, recalling Bose's policies on domestic violence calls as one of his most influential pieces of business, as the Minneapolis Police Department proved that arrests in those cases often led to lower rates of reoffending. Because of Minneapolis, police departments in the country changed their policies on domestic violence. But Bose's penchant for saying whatever was on his mind often got him in trouble. Once saying Minneapolis doesn't have a gang problem, when it very much did. Longtime civil rights activist Spike Moss critical of Bose's tenure, especially when it came to disciplining officers in suspected cases of police brutality. The city never came, the mayor never said anything, city council, so... The chief was the only one that could have said, well, I want this done, and it never happened. In the many books he wrote after his retirement, Boza spoke out about racism within policing, but Moss says he did nothing to stop it when he could have. He knew how to do it, how to hide it, how to deny it, how to ignore it, and how to allow it, and how to protect his officers from finally being prosecuted in any way. In a statement, current chief Brian O'Hara said, I had the honor of spending time with him after I became chief, and I'll remember him as being full of life, much as I'm sure he was when he walked these halls and sat behind the very desk I'm writing from now. You know, on some things, you know, he got wrong, and some things he got right, uh, but he cared about policing. After stepping down as chief in 1989, Boza continued to call the Twin Cities home, even making a run for governor in the 90s. He died at the age of 94. Randy. All right, Courtney, thank you.